Hi everyone, it's Vicky here, and today I have a huge giveaway sponsored by Simon Says Stamp. One of you will get a set of 14 Simon Says Stamp ink pads together with a pack of Simon Says Stamp cardstock. This is heavy cardstock, and you can see that you get uh, two of each uh, color, and that sums up to 28 sheets of cardstock altogether. The cardstock perfectly matches the ink pads. And uh, as you can see in my swatches here, I just made them, the top row is actually a piece of the cardstock and the bottom is uh, just uh, inked. You can see that they perfectly match. And that's an amazing giveaway sponsored by Simon Says Stamp. And uh, if you want to uh, join, just uh, go ahead and leave me a comment on my blog. You can find a link to my blog just below the video. And just to showcase the ink and the cardstock of this giveaway by Simon Says Stamp. I prepared the card for today that uses as much ink and uh, different uh, cardstock as possible. So I'm starting with a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and this is a piece of uh, white cardstock and I'm using these star banners which is an exclusive tie by Simon Says Stamp. I'm placing it at uh, the, one, the one edge of uh, my cardstock and I'm going to use washi tape to keep it in place. As you can see I'm using the grid on uh, my mat uh, just to make sure that uh, I'm going to place it uh, straight. On the cardstock and then I'm using my cut back that's my die cutting machine and uh, I'll pass it through once now I have to pop out all the little stars which isn't uh, too hard I'm just running my fingers over there or by using your tool you can do that super quickly And uh, now I'm going to choose uh, five different cardstocks from my Simon Says Stamp cardstock collection. I've chosen uh, five uh, different colors that uh, create actually a rainbow. And uh, the idea is to place them just uh, behind the stars. So I'm cutting out a quarter of an inch uh, strips there, which are actually going to cover the back of uh, my panel. Uh, I'll go ahead and cut uh, one strip from each cardstock. I found out that uh, a quarter of an inch will cover uh, perfectly the back and now I'm using my liquid glue and I'll just place uh, uh, those uh, little strips uh, in uh, the rainbow order that's uh, red, orange, yellow, green and blue. And now it's time to stamp the sentiment. This is uh, this stamp set is called Happy Every Day, and it's uh, an exclusive stamp set by Simon Says Stamp. And I'm going for a big uh, sentiment that uh, ha that has uh, many rows. And the idea here is to uh, stamp each and every row with a different color. To do that, I'm uh, using my post-it notes to cover the rest of the stamp and um, ink up only the area that I want to. I would normally do that by cutting out each row with my scissors and create four different uh, stamps but uh, just because uh, when I do that I get a lot of comments of uh, freaked out um, viewers that say no no don't cut out your stamps like that I decided to show you how you can do it without cutting them out.
And now that my main panel is ready, it's time to add some accents. I'm going for those uh, stars, which is uh, a tie by Simon Says Stamp, and it's called uh, Large Holiday Shapes. And uh, I'm going to use again uh, pieces of uh, cardstock, the same cardstock that I've used before for my strips of paper. And uh, I'm going to pass it through my cutter bag and create a bunch of uh, different colored stars. I'm not going to use them all, but since I have uh, the dies uh, on hand, I decided to cut out a few just to make sure I have uh, plenty of colors to choose from. The rest of the stars that I'm not going to use, I'm going to put them inside the packaging with uh, the dies and um, keep them for another card. If you take a good uh, look, you'll see that I've used uh, four colors for the stamp set and uh, five colors for my rainbow. So I decided that uh, I needed to add uh, definitely a blue star just to add a bit of um, a blue accent on top of the card. Now I've used the foam squares at the back of the stars uh, just to add um, a bit of dimension and now my main panel is ready. I'm using foam squares at the back and stick it on top of my card base. And I'm sure that if you have a Wink of Stella glitter pen, you are going through the same phase as I am. I just can't put it down. I also used my Wink of Stella glitter pen to go over the letters and uh, that adds a bit of uh, shimmer all over the card. I've used white cardstock as my card base, but you can definitely use any of uh, the five uh, cardstock that I've used on my rainbow. So go ahead and create a birthday card set just by changing the card base. And that was the card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. Don't forget to join this amazing uh, giveaway by Simon Says Stamp. So go over to my blog and leave me a comment. The link is just below the video. <music>